My name's Officer Cadet Caitlin Crick and I'm a third year student here at ADFA studying a Bachelor of Science majoring in Chemistry and Aviation. I chose to study at ADFA because I've always wanted a university degree but I also want the opportunity to work for the Air Force and fly. So it gave me a bit of the best of both worlds and the chance to meet a lot of like-minded peers and explore my interests before fully committing to the workforce. Before I came to ANFA, I thought it was going to be a lot more strict, like you have to wake up at the crack of dawn, and you have to have your bed iron. There's elements of that in your initial training, but as you move through and you become a university student, you do start to mirror elements of civilian university life, just with a bit of extra responsibility and expectations placed upon you. University and ADFA are quite different in the regards that you're employed while you're at ADFA, so you're earning salary benefits, and ADFA is also a full-time job as well as university, so you're doing things like joint military education and training, physical training, you're doing single service trainings during the holidays, but you're also getting paid to do it, and you're working a lot more collaboratively because you don't need to compete for your job at the back end. I play for the Vikings Soccer Club at ADFA for the girl team, which is called the Bike Queens. And we, play, we train on Tuesdays and Thursdays when we play games on Sundays. ADFA offers a wide range of extracurricular activities from things like chess, performing arts, all the way through to all of your sports like um, AFL, soccer, hockey, pretty much anything you can name. And ADFA there's also the opportunity to start a new club if you find that there's a gap in the co-curricular activities. If you're doing an arts degree, you're looking at a bit of a shorter timetable with some more readings integrated and tutorials and like open thinking sort of classes. Down your science engineering route, you've got a lot more technical subjects, labs, your timetable's got more hours, but less external work. So it depends on which degree you pursue. As a training officer at ADFA, I will do military briefs during the week and physical training. Once a year, I get to travel to an Air Force base as well and do a bit of training specific with the Air Force for my unit in the future. Uh, the balance between the university studies and my military training is actually very easy. The timetable is structured in a way that means you'll do military training in the mornings, almost every morning, and then you'll have your university day and then you will tend to finish around four o'clock to six o'clock most days. After hours, I like to play soccer. I like to go out with friends, like hang around in the common room, go out for dinner. It's just a bit of time to unwind and study or spend time with friends or call family. Um, an average day at ADFA for me would look like a roll call around seven o'clock in the morning. I would get up, get ready, have breakfast. I would head to usually head to a brief around eight o'clock. That would go until about 10 o'clock when I would go to uni. I'd have classes with gaps in between. During the gaps, I'd usually go to the cafe, work out, go to the gym, see my friends. And then I'll finish around four o'clock to six o'clock at night. And then from there, I'll go to soccer or I'll go have a bit of an early night or I'll head out for dinner or do whatever it is that I wanna do. My favourite thing about studying at ADFA is the people. It's such a good community of small classes, lovely professors, really lovely military staff. It's just such a, it's like a home away from home. It's like its own city. So I really enjoy it for the people. Here at ADFA, we're sort of like a little town. We have our own hairdresser, our own banks. We have cafes spread throughout the university campus. We have obviously all of the classrooms, our laboratories, our computer labs. Uh, we have where we live, our um, lines or our divisions are situated at the back of the academy so you can walk from them to the university. We've got two major ovals, a gym, a pool, uh, pretty much like you need anything and it will be on campus somewhere. I like studying at ADFA because I'm integrated with my friends throughout my military studies and my university life. I have access to small group classes where I have my tutorial groups will be the same people that I'll do PT with in the morning. It gives me a chance to get to know my professors really well and to get to know my peers while feeling like I'm accomplishing something every day. Uh, both my parents came through ADFA as army trainees. They actually met towards um, the back end of my dad's time here and they ended up getting married. So a bit of a success story there. <laughs> Thank you.
If you're thinking of coming to Adfa, I would really recommend giving it a go. It's the best thing I ever did. I have, you know, I'm paid to do my degree. I have amazing friends. I've had an opportunity to live away from home a lot younger than a lot of people do nowadays. And your degree is paid for. It's a collaborative environment. It's a really comfortable learning environment and you're guaranteed a job at the end. So there's no need to worry while you're here.